Let us now understand how to work on a structure board. So once you create a board with the issues that are relevant to you, you want to further work on those issues. So you can, of course, uh, take a look at, let us say, in this case, uh, an epic. Then you can go further and take a look at all the stories within your epic. And you can also take a look at uh, the subtask. And of course, uh, this hierarchy is based on uh, the generators that we added earlier using the automation. But what else we can do? So let's now discuss these options that you can uh, take a look at uh, or that you can use when you're working on a structure board. And the advantage of these options on top is that uh, you can also play with your board. You can always uh, add some issues. You can always move them. And it is very easy, to be honest. When you click on uh, these options on top, for example, when you click on the option called add, you have the option to add a new issue, which is uh, quite uh, straightforward. It will uh, create a new issue in a specific project and it will be of course added in your Jira instance and it will also be reflected in your structure board of course based on uh, the configuration whether that new issue is within the scope then you can always uh, click on the option here to fully expand the whole structure board maybe you want to have this expanded view and you can also collapse everything so this is something that you can uh, use if you want to quickly collapse everything and the good thing is that you can always use the different levels so in case you have let us say three levels in your structure board so you can actually use this option on top to expand up to level two or maybe level three so in this case if you select level three it will expand everything till your uh, subtask but if you select uh, level two it will only expand uh, uh, epics with stories but not the subtask uh, further you can also use the options here to move your items uh, within your structure board and uh, with the help of this particular option you can uh, move them but it really depends on the configuration because uh, these items will not really work it might not work when you have uh, a fully automated structure board so let us now uh, go to the manual structure board where we can see how the moving of items will work so if i go to the manual structure board uh, i have uh, my board in front of me but uh, uh, if i also want to further rearrange these uh, issues that appear in this particular uh, board i can use the use the option on top to move them to left or right so when i am moving the items uh, uh, using these uh, arrow keys, uh, I can actually make them part of, uh, let us say, a specific parent, but I can always uh, click on the right arrow to further move it under a specific issue. So I may want to display this particular uh, story, which is in this case API functionality as part of my login functionality, or I can simply uh, move it at uh, my login functionality level. So in this case, we have a folder here called UI, which is nothing but uh, another way to organize or group your issues together. You can always create a new folder from top. And uh, once you add a new folder, you can then uh, use this particular uh, folder to include or to remove uh, items in this folder so i can add uh, maybe some new issues under my uh, under my admin folder that i just uh, created so you can actually use your mouse or you can also use your arrow keys on top so these options will help you with uh, with organizing the board the way you like it and then you also have some options like uh, you can uh, edit a specific issue by clicking this uh, this option, this button on top, you can actually change the title if you want. You can also uh, remove it if, if you want. So let me first uh, change the title. I'll uh, probably uh, show you how it works. So I can probably add uh, some new text in my title of uh, my issue. Then you can also click on the option here to cut this particular uh, this particular issue and uh, move it to a specific location. So I can actually move it to this location, for example, and then I can uh, use the paste option. So it is like uh, your cut and uh, copy that you might be familiar with. And you also have the option to duplicate uh, 
uh, an issue. So maybe you want to create uh, another copy of this particular issue and you want this item to be to be visible uh, twice, maybe in your board. So you can always uh, create a copy and uh, this 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 thing these things can be done uh, uh, using the option on the on the right hand side if i change it to a double grid so on the right hand side you have the option to change the layout you have a single grid then you have double grid and uh, here you can also work on uh, your issues so you can actually uh, simply click on the issues and you can always uh, uh, drag them to your main uh, to your main uh, section in your structure board and uh, you can always uh, search and quickly find the information that you're looking for by using the search option. So there is this option here on the on the top right corner where you can simply search based on, let us say, a simple text. So if you want to type in, let us say, uh, admin. So this particular board will uh, help you in finding all the issues in the hierarchy with this specific uh, keyword. And uh, apart from the text search, you can also use the JQL that you are familiar with. And there is also one uh, uh, one one option here to use the structure JQL that will also help you in finding the information. But uh, it is uh, based on the structure's own uh, JQL. So it comes with its own features. And uh, there are a few more things that I want to talk about uh, in this video. And that is the option to take a look at different views. So right now we are taking a look at this particular structure board where we have the basic view, but the structure comes with different views and these different views are nothing but uh, a way to display some additional fields. For example, in the basic view, you can see the uh, summary, you can see this issue key, progress and uh, priority along with story points if there are some story points but in case you want to take a look at the planning view here you can see the uh, assigning name you can see the fixed version you can also take a look at the estimates and uh, these views can also be customized so in case you want to add let us say in your uh, basic view uh, a new field for example maybe you want to add uh, fields like let us say uh, uh, maybe in case you are using a WSJF, which is a, a field used for safe based implementations, you can also add, uh, let us say, your your priority, which I believe is not there in my basic view. So I can add a priority. I can also maybe add a, a due date if there is a due date. So you can always add new fields. And once you add a new field, you can save this view as your own custom basic view so you can always create your own views if you want and these views are something similar to your filters that you might be familiar with but of course the view is more uh, more specific to the columns that you want to present in your board there's one more thing that i want to talk about is uh, the concept of transformations and and these transformations will help you in finding the information uh, within your structure board and it is more like creating a sub filter but that sub filter will help you in focusing the information relevant to you. Maybe you have a structure board full of information, but you just want to focus on all the issues assigned to you or maybe all the issues with uh, high priority. So let us say you have this uh, top down structure board where we have a lot of uh, tickets, a lot of stories, a lot of issues, and you just want to focus on a few sub few tickets or maybe a subset of this whole board so once you click on this uh, option here on the top right corner called transformation you have you will get the button here to add a transformation and that transformation can be a filter it can be a group it can be uh, an option to also add some sorting so let's say you want to add a group where you just want to group this view based on the assignee of uh, of your uh, issues so once you select assignee so you can see here that the whole structure board is now grouped by your uh, your users and the good thing about this particular transformation is that you can add multiple transformations but uh, these transformations are in a way temporary these will of course uh, help you in focusing the information relevant to you in case you have a lot of issues within your structure board but uh, it is not like creating a new structure board altogether so it is more like assisting you is it's more like uh, having this option to further filter or further uh, modify the view or uh, 
uh, another way to help you and assisting you in uh, finding the relevant information. So you can add uh, some sort options. You can also uh, add, uh, let us say, another option to extend this view further if you want. And it is more like a temporary view for you that you can always uh, close if uh, you think uh, this is uh, uh, not really relevant for me. So you can simply go to transformation, add a transformation, and then uh, you can close it if you don't if you don't uh, like it or maybe you, if you're done with it. So these are a few things that you can do with your uh, structure board. And uh, one thing that I, re that I would also like to mention here is that uh, whenever you're working on your structure board, apart from looking at the board itself, you can always go to a specific item, let us say this particular story. And when you open your issue detail view, you will be presented with uh, the option to take a look at uh, the location of this particular story or task in your structure board. So when you're looking at this particular uh, story, you have the option to take a look at the structure board where this particular story is actually visible but it won't really show you the whole board it will only show you a section of the board where this story is a part of a specific epic so this is another way to take a look at the hierarchy and uh, there is also one more way to take a look at the structure board that you're creating and that is actually in your uh, dashboard so when you go to your dashboard and when you add a new gadget after installing structure add-on you will get the option to take a look at some gadgets that uh, will help you in uh, looking at uh, your uh, structure boards within your dashboard so when you search for structure you will be presented with this gadget called structure that you can always uh, add on your dashboard and uh, you might uh, uh, be able to add uh, maybe more than one uh, gadget if you think that is uh, relevant for you but the good thing about this particular option here this particular gadget is that you can uh, you can always uh, select your structure board let us say top down structure board and you can also choose your view so let us say you want to focus on basic view or maybe you have your own custom view i believe we added one view earlier called custom uh, view and by the way these views are something that uh, you can create maybe for yourself or maybe it can be a public view. So right now it is a view for me, but uh, uh, we can always uh, change the permission of the view to uh, to public, for example. And when you click on the save button, the top down structure will be displayed for you where you can uh, take a look at the same structure board on your dashboard. So this is uh, quite uh, handy, at least uh, for someone who is working on structure. So with the help of structure, in these videos, we have seen so far that you can create different type of uh, structure boards like uh, top-down automation, bottom-up automation, and a manual structure board. And we have also seen in this video how to work on a structure board. So I hope uh, this uh, video was uh, useful. And in the next video, we will take a look at how we can use structure add-on to create a Gantt chart. And then in future videos, we will also take a look at some example implementations of uh, structure add-on. Thank you very much.